New tonight for you, household products like cleaners and batteries, they could lead to injury or even death if consumed. There is a facility in Toledo that works to make packaging safer for kids. Here's Maya May. Meet Jan Hepler. She has worked in Toledo testing the safety and security of product packaging for over 20 years. Over 60,000 children go to the emergency room every year with medication overdoses. So that's what we're trying to prevent. Today, as a project manager for the Operation Safe Child Division within the Great Lakes Marketing Research Company, Jan believes every time a container goes through testing, a child's life gets safer. I have tested everything from a push down and turn type bottle. We also test blister type cards. It could be a sprayer bottle, a gasoline can, pool chemicals. Um, we are also the only company in the United States that tests child resistant lighters. After testing is complete, Lori Dixon, the research facility president, says it's up to the public to read the instructions and store each product correctly and out of the hands of children. So keep everything in the original packaging. Keep it stored out of sight. That's the main thing. It, you know, it's up in a way, meaning it's out of reach in a way, but the key thing is it's out of sight so that I'm not curious about it. The National Poison Data System recorded painkillers, household cleaning substances, antidepressants, and cosmetics as the most frequently involved products in human poison exposures. And now in 2024, Lori says the country is focused on the storage of cannabis and button cell batteries because of their increased presence within homes. The thing is the edibles look just like candies and they are often not stored in the original child resistant packaging and children are getting confused. They see their parents eating them, they see their parents excited about eating them, they look just like all the other gummies that they've had and they're being ingested accidentally. So that's a big focus this year because as more states make it more easily available, um, there's gummies in households everywhere. Research shows 4,000 Americans die from poison exposure every year, so the company continues to test, and testing participants are always needed. So yes, the data is extremely important, and if a package would fail and wouldn't meet the criteria, then it does not go on the market and has to be redone. Reporting in Toledo, Maya May for WTOL 11. Children between three and five can participate in the testing using placebo products. Families could make up to 50 bucks if they test the security of product packaging. You can find out more information on how to sign up on the links mentioned section of our website.